right, cool. I try to be short and sweet. Um, I'm a performance coach. Basically, what that means is I do a lot of, I do personalized training, but it also means I do a lot of nutritional counseling with clients that come in. Um, they, I work on a short uh, window of time with, at, with clients. So I may start my day at 5.30 in the morning. I may end 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. And I, I work with a lot of business owners, um, some high school athletes, some recreational athletes, but when they have questions, they want their questions answered, and they want them answered quick and in a hurry. So what I do a lot of is manage my time well enough to uh, answer the questions. One of, those, one of the questions that I ask, answer a lot of is the questions about nutrition. And so um, when I was asked to come out and talk about nutrition, I was like, cool, you know, that's, that's tight. Like, I'm, um, I'm engaged uh, with studying about nutrition a lot more. When I was at UK studying, you know, we had to take a lot of nutrition courses in. Like, why am I taking this course? No, some of y'all might, might still do that. Like, what, what is, how is this useful? And um, I, I feel honored to come back today to, to share with you guys. And I'm going to talk to you guys today about state of mind because I feel like you know, what, what I know as far as just being an African-American male is that slavery has had its effect on the African-American diet today. And so, like, um, with saying that, like, what type of strategy do we need to set up to to think about um, tomorrow, to think about you know our children and our, and our future, like so. Um, I'm using this model that's called the um, Grow Model. It talks about setting a goal. So you guys think about your goal. Also, this is a conversation, so you want to shoot a question out. I don't mind that at all. But the Grow Model is just a model that helps um, coaches, like coach individuals, whether it be counseling, whether it be nutrition, or whatever, um, whether it be in, in the business uh, world as well. And uh, I do look at uh, our bodies as temples and so um, strategy and planning is, is, is important to me. So the grow model of uh, setting a goal, um, what's your current reality right now, um, what options do you have and last your will. I put belief in the middle because your belief is going to affect your behavior. We'll talk about that real quick. Um, so these are like little car, I don't, I don't know how to fix a car, I know how to fix people and joints, but joints are a lot like this uh, little diagram here. And basically, all it's really showing is that um, if, if this like little piston, if this little piston here stops working or whatnot, um, the rest of it is affected. If your behavior like is off and it stops, your results are affected as well. Yeah, y'all can shut, shut, uh, shut those off if y'all want to, that's cool. Um, so, so my motivation, like we're talking about motivation a little bit, because I think before tackling nutrition and eating well, you have to uh, have the motivation, um, you have to calibrate your motivation well. And so um, basically this, what all this is saying is that your mindset, your attitude, and your belief affect your behavior, and your behavior is going to give you your results, you know? So um, why am I here? The reason why I, I, I decided to come here, and I, I, the question is, what's your vision? I was talking about generations and making sure we learn how to eat well um, because we want to teach children how to eat well one of these days, you know. And um, and so what's your vision? Like your vision is, is, is motivated by the core values that you have, the core values that you subscribe to. Um, the reason why I'm here is because I believe that we're all broken people. Um, restoration of broken pieces, of broken people through the power of seeking peace. We all seek peace and understanding. And um, we have to come to a, a, a place where we're okay with ourselves, we're okay with making like um, mistakes, even with diet or whatever, and, but, but continually picking ourselves up to kind of, kind of roll out. So what's your vision? Um, that's going to that's gonna affect, uh, affect your behavior and what you do. I want to talk about a self the self-deprivation mindset. This is a mindset that, um, I, it's, it's, I just was reading about POWs, like prisons of war, and, and the prisons of war, they typically were um, deprived of things. They were deprived of light. Um, well, of course, light has vitamin D. You get vitamin D from light. They're deprived of food. They were deprived of rest. We'll talk about rest and its effect on the body as well, as far as recovery. Um, and so that that deprived that mindset, I have to um, not um, have something. I, I, I'm not allowed to eat something. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to say don't eat X. I'm, I'm here to really talk about strategy and like why to eat, when to eat, and um, what's necessary to eat to build, to give you the actual result that you're looking for. And so we don't want to, we don't, I don't want to encourage anybody to, um, to deprive themselves or anything. We'll talk about calories and later on if anybody wants to come up and ask about, you know, like 
what's as far as calories, how many calories should I intake? It's based on like it's based on like your your height, your age, and your weight, and it's based on your activity level. So it's like really specific. Each each individual person doesn't have the same amount of calorie um, like goals. So like one person might be two thousand, another person based on activity may be like three thousand. So um, it's really important to know that because if you are working out and you're not eating enough, you can like you can um, not lose weight just based on not having enough calories. And so, um, prisons of war were tortured to break their will. And so, what I'm talking about today is just really like giving you guys intrinsic will. We talked about them not having food, light, um, or sleep, or community that's kind of separating them from each other just to break their will. Uh, metabolism is life giving. Um, the word uh, metabolism in the Greek, metabol, just means growth. So, what, what people should know, what you guys should know, is muscle should always be in a state of growth. Uh, women lose a pound of fat every year um, at, after the age 21. That's mad important. I knew I was going to be talking to some ladies today, so I want to throw that up there because what happens after the age 21, as you start losing muscle, your, your, your ability to burn fat like diminishes like year to year to year. So as you get older, like that is why, that's why, that's why you're, you're, you're unable to like burn fat. And so that's it's important. A lot of times, women say, "I don't want to lift weights. I don't want to get in the weight room," and because they feel like they're going to get really big, but it really helps you fight against, and it really helps you continue um, continue growing, um, continue your, your muscles growing. And the reason why men, however, like it's easier for men to lose weight. I get a man as a client, and he drop weight like that. Sometimes it might take a little while for for women to drop weight, and it's because of that. Like you have to like rev their metabolism up. A lot of times, um, I have to get them to eat to try to find out whether or not they're eating. If they're not eating, that's that that they're they're not going to lose weight. And so I have to get them to eat first, and then as they're eating and they're exercising, like they'll start losing, they start losing weight. Um, if muscles are always in maintenance uh, phase on on a track towards continuing growth, body's ability to burn fat is maintained. Exercise and nutrition play a major role in muscle growth, and it's a strategy to prevent, to, uh, prevent disease or disease. So we know about all that um, hypertension, high blood pressure, um, diabetes, um, those, those things uh, we don't have to have. They're not, I was talking to one of my boys, he just came in and he was like, man, um, he was like my, uh, what do you say? Man, man, my grandfather and my and my my grand my grandfather and my dad they had diabetes, so they passed it down. I'm like, nah, they didn't pass down diabetes. They passed down a behavior. You don't know how to eat. You know what I'm saying? You learn how to eat. If you learn how to eat right, you know what I'm saying. Like you not, you won't. Um, if you learn how to eat right, you won't have diabetes. But the reason why your dad and your grandfather had poor habits is because they weren't taught well. You know, they were deprived of things, right? And um, and so some of those things passed down, so those chitlins and all that, you know, good to eat a little bit here and there, but um, it's not going it's gonna kill you, you know what I mean? Like eventually, if, you, if you're not too careful. So um, our, our foreparents don't pass down like these, these uh, ailments. Um, they pass down behaviors, and we have to break the cycle of behavior and uh, put, uh, come up with some strategies for success. Um, <laughs> jot that, um, keep that. If anybody, um, if anybody doesn't have one of these handouts later on, um, Come up, give me an email address. I'll, I'll send, send it to you. Core performance. I'm a, like my um, certification or my background is in performance, and so core performance is, a, um, is who I subscribe to the most. Um, I spend a lot of time with them. I'm actually in a mentorship program with them. I was in LA last year, and uh, I'll be in Arizona. Help athletes get better, and so they do a lot of nutritional counseling with them as well. And these four points I got off of an article from um, Core Performance. So I wanted to tell you, you guys can like go to Core Performance. You actually can get a free membership where you can constantly like just go in and read different articles that they may have on like stretching or they may have on like exercise. They may have on on, uh, on regeneration strategies like massage and things like that and um, and diet. Um, first point is come back to earth, ground close to the ground. Look for three grams or more fiber cert. Uh, three grams or more for fiber per serving. So like that's when you're looking at like the food label, you wanna make sure that it has at least three grams of fiber. Um, you, you want fiber in your diet because it helps your digestive system. Um, eat a rainbow often. Um, it's, just, it's just saying on your plate you need to have three or more colors. Those colors represent different vitamins. Like you know like 
beta carotene, vitamin A, it's orange, you know, um, you get the some of the same, like from uh, like red bell peppers or just making sure that you always like looking for different colors to eat, you know, because those, those different colors represent vitamins in your body and you need those. Um, three for three rule is make sure you eat three times a day at least, but um, the other piece right here is um, two snacks. So eat, your, eat breakfast. A lot of people don't eat breakfast and then in the morning your metabolism is at its lowest point. And so that rule of eat the breakfast is the most important meal of the day is true. You know, like if you wake up, you know, this morning I woke up, I had a um, I had a 5.30 a.m. appointment. I woke up, I grabbed some yogurt, I grabbed some Greek yogurt and ate it. You know, like I don't even feel like eating, but I know that I'm supposed to because I want to continue to to make sure that when I'm working out, I get, I get, I get results from my workout. Um, and then the last one that says include a protein um, with each source of fuel. And so basically when it's talking about fuel and it's talking about metabolism, it's saying that um, like like when you eat protein for your body, it's like a, it's like your metabolism is like a fire basically. Um, and so like when you eat food and you throw like when you eat food, it's like it's essentially like throwing wood onto your onto a fire and it kind of keeps it going. Um, that's why when you work out, you sweat because your your, your core temperature is up. When you don't eat, like however, your body doesn't your body isn't burning as high as it can be. So like eating like increases your core temperature and it's breaking down food and so it helps out your metabolism. Um, with that, the rule is, it says the less legs the better. And that's basically just saying anything that has like no legs, like fish is probably a lot better than something that's four legs, like a pig or whatever. So like the less leg the better is the rule. So like make sure you lean, even like pork, like um, there's some good pork as well. Um, Tenderloin. Tenderloin is like the leanest of, of pork you can have or whatnot. And so um, it's just saying the less legs, the le less legs, the better. It's just talking about the type of meats you eat. Making sure that you, um, even in some of your snacks, that, I mean, like even like nuts and things like that, try to have some of those um, because because it because of its uh, effect on protein. Rules to live by. Question from the coach. That's me. Um, it's a question that I have and beliefs that I have as well. Source is there a God? So like. Basically, um, and if so, what's his name? So basically, like when I come to um, when, when I when I approach my body, I approach it as as, as, it, as it does not belong to me. That's my belief. <clears throat> my belief is that uh, my body doesn't belong to me, but it belongs to God. So with that mindset, I say I can't take, I can't mistreat something that doesn't belong to me. Um, so I, that's the first approach that I think about when I'm when I'm dealing with my body. Um, uninterrupted sleep. I know y'all in college, know y'all y'all grinding. Or whatnot, uh, uh, but it, studies show that individuals who sleep more um, are able to burn more as far as their metabolism, metabolism is concerned. You're able to like regenerate more. It's like when you work out and you're sore, um, like your sleep helps like your recovery process. The recovery is everything um, when it, as it relates to weight loss or even weight gain, it's either, either or. Um, 30 minutes of sunlight between 11 to 1 p.m. I talked about that a little bit earlier about the deprivation of light. Um, uh, studies show uh, light actually giving um, vitamin E or not. Yeah, I know light was a part of nutrition, but it's, it's a big deal. Drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. So um, you want to make sure you do that daily. Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, this helps your muscles grow. And the last one is establish a routine. So when I was asking, I actually like, I believe in mentorship and um, I have a mentor who, who, who's more like, they're what I am on the nutrition side of things. And so I talk to them a lot just to kind of get advice. And I was like, hey, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm finally trying to learn how to uh, take care of my body, trying to learn how to do nutrition because I've always done exercise and I didn't really um, mess with nutrition as much. And I asked for help with nutrition and they told me, um, they asked me what my bedtime was, when do I do laundry? When I go grocery shopping, and I was like, "What does that have to do with like you you trying to help me or not?" And 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 really, what they was letting me know is that, and what I've learned even as a trainer is that your rhythm has everything to do with your habits. And so, if you don't like have like a steady rhythm, then you kind of let life happen to you. So you're not you're not pay, you don't pay attention to your surroundings as much. McDonald's like they love that. They love like folks who are not paying attention. I got when we have a brother a frat who like works for Procter and Gamble now. We, uh, he was in DC and went up and saw him and he was just like, man, I can't wait till um, I can put this job down so I can like do something positive with my life because all they do is go and study how to make you dissatisfied with your choices. 
And with that, they like want you to buy certain things, you know, with the way they want you to spend your money, they want you to spend your money without thinking. And he was like, I mean, he's making money doing it, but he's like, man, like I want to do something positive, this isn't it, you know? And so um, just really be careful as far as like knowing that uh, they out there trying to get you um, to make poor choices. And if you plan, like snacks, you know, like um, apple in your pocket, seem like weird stuff to do, maybe, or might not be even the best, um, like as far as like if you're kind of, if you're like kind of over concerned about what people think about you, if you like pack snacks and things like that, you have to think about like your body, you have to think about your future and things like that. I ain't gonna like preach it y'all, but that's the basically the last establishment team is just talking about our rhythm and making sure you have a rhythm. I think, oh, that's about it. So I'm saying let's have a conversation. Um, um, I said follow me on Twitter, uh, y'all for real. Like Twitter, like to me, like I'm I'm old. So, um, so, like, man, like, when I found out about this Twitter, they, they know, too, when I found out about Twitter, I'm like, man, like, what's going I, I'm, I'm just getting on Twitter, so I'm like, I'm going to tell everybody to follow me on Twitter, because I'm big, I'm big on that right now. Uh, Y'all probably been doing it for a long time, but I just started, so. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, um, my YouTube is uh, next, it's next level performance, but it's felt like that, and inbox me any questions you may have on Facebook. And I'm just saying let's have a conversation because a lot of these questions are more specific to you. If you guys have any specific questions right now, you can shoot them. If you, if you uh, want to shoot a question to me um, on, on Facebook or any of those, like definitely do that as well. So thanks for your attendance. Thank Fitness expertise up to you all. So I know.